Welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. We're going to do a toy review today. Kind of show a little bit more about those Eagle Force characters. But before we do that, what do I do? I always say hello to my Dark Cosmic family out there. That's right, for those who are subscribed. And you know what? For those who watch this channel, you can be part of the Dark Cosmic Universe as well. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button. You are good to go. And you are welcomed into this great toy community here. But before we do that, saying hello to my dark cosmic comrades out there, my cosmic cosmonauts, my dark cosmic insane toy collectors. The names just keep getting longer and longer. And don't forget my dark cosmic Pokemon collectors out there too. I did pick up some Pokemon packs. We will get into that in another video. Uh, again, thank you guys for checking out the channel. So appreciate it. I do toy reviews from online stores, three thrift stores, Retail stores, anywhere there are toys, yours yours truly, Avian Savage, is there to check out the things that are there. Now, you'll probably wonder why I've got this particular figure and those particular figures in the back. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if I could ask everyone, give me one of those. I saw one of my videos had like 19 of those. So appreciate that. Don't forget to activate that bell icon so you get notified when I put up a new video. Also, at the time of the recording, I believe today is the 21st of May, four more days until the unlock, the Dark Cosmic Box closes. That's right. Whatever we have for comments gets closed. And then, oop, there we go, knocking into the camera. And then I draw a winner. One lucky Dark Cosmic family member out there who has left a comment on that particular video, go find it, you still have time, will get a prize. That's right. And speaking of prizes and all that fun stuff and numbers, we're almost up at uh, that 700 mark. I think I, they looked, there was uh, 671 or 72 subscribers. Wow. Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate that. Let's get into the toy review. We've got another figure from Eagle Force. Is Eagle Force versus Riot. Now, this is Fresh Monkey Fiction. If you can't tell, that monkey over there on the bottom with that amazing hat, that's where it comes from. And today we're going to be reviewing the character is called Ultima Thule, the Riot Leader. Got to have a leader if you're going to have all these characters. And when I happened to see this one, I said, you know what? This is a no brainer. Now, this is going to be, if you take a look at this particular body and the whole um the jacket and everything that's on here it's gonna look very close to the character one of the characters that i'm looking forward to d clan or declan um von helsing uh so yes getting excited about that so again don't forget if you're looking for eagle force figures you can check freshmonkeyfiction.com don't forget you can also go to big bad toy stores you might be able to find that and if you can't find them there you'll also be able to find them on those amazing websites that are known as auction homes because sometimes people do that. So here we go. There is the, there he is in his ultimate glory here on the cartoon caricature, which I thought looks really menacing, really cool. And it says Ultima Thule. I'm not going to read everything, but it has a quote from Captain Eagle. If you saw my previous videos, we do have a Captain Eagle figure in the collection. And again, with him saying that, uh, that's very interesting. So again, you can pause the video at any time and read what Captain Eagle has said. And over here, if you if you want to know about Ultima Thule, check out the file card over here that talks about Ultima Thule. Who is Ultima Thule? I don't know. That's a good question. He's well hidden behind that. Um, looks like a biker mask, but again, that whole mask. And uh, you know, again, if you have that, uh, if you've uh, watched. Or you were into uh, like GI Joe, you remember that Cobra Commander had that big old mask. And why not? Why can't we have a character over here that is behind a mask and able to uh, be a part of uh, the leadership role here? Again, I I, I know a little bit about um, the Riot figures, uh, you know, from my uh, you know reading the cards and and uh, you know checking out some of the stuff. But again, it's still there's a huge, huge history of the characters and there we go again getting knocked down and i'll show you why we place those two together and you'll see why in a minute 
But here are the accessories that come with Ultima Thule. Uh, again, we've got lots of different hands that you can swap them out. And remember, I'll say it again, if you are gonna be swapping out hands, make sure that you warm up the uh, the area that you're gonna pop off, you know, for the figure. And again, uh, he comes with, oh, that's pretty cool. The, uh, the accessory that he has here, his weapon, it's like silver. That's pretty cool. Again, looks like a ray gun. I love that. And again, we got the matching hands here. Very, very cool. And again, if you want to mix and match different hands, you can also go to Marauder Gun Runners. Um, they also sell stuff like that. I'm waiting for uh, a shipment there, and I've got a surprise. Yes, I always have tons of surprises uh, when it comes to uh, this channel and what we're getting. Let's check out Ultima Thule here in the flesh. Very cool. And I can already tell you, he's got lots of articulation here. Uh, again, if you're wondering how tall these figures are and you are new to the channel, checking this out, he is approximately four inches tall. So again, that 118th scale looking really cool. I love the design of the mask. Very, very cool. And again, even all the details like the jacket, it totally works with this guy. Don't know who he is under there. Can't pop the head off, but that's okay. That's part of the whole mystery and the whole intrigue. Check it out. Very, again, he's got lots of lots of articulation here. So we got double noited, double noited, yeah, double uh, knee uh, joints. Ugh. Uh, we've got joints in the um, ankles. So he's got some ankle rockers. Um, he's got his shin guards over here. It is important if you are going to be battling anyone, you always have to wear shin guards. You can ask uh, Captain Crappy about that. He'll tell you about shin guards. That guy knows his G.I. Joe's, let me tell you. Uh, he's on Phantom Iconic, so if you are looking for another channel to uh, check out and you want to learn about G.I. Joe, he had uh, quite a few videos that he did. Uh, he was a big G.I. Joe guy. And again, really, really cool. Love the detail on the jacket. And again, this will be a similar jacket that uh, D-Clan should have. And it looks really cool. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't say enough about the detailing on it. And again, um, the character, he does have articulation in the arms. We've got some in the elbows, very multi-posable character. Um, there is some wrist articulation. You gotta be very careful about that. So he can hold his weapon. You can put his weapon in here. Let's go do that real quick uh, before we do that. Now, as I was looking at Ultima Thule, and I'm getting ready to do this video, I'm like, I, I kind of see some vibes going on here. Um, and I've seen this before, and I'm like, where have I seen this before? And thank goodness I wound up like archiving my toy collection here. God, isn't that a great way to do things? You're like, wait a minute, I've seen this before. And yes, as I look through my archive of action figures, he looks very reminiscent of Jason Todd when Jason Todd had the um, Hush persona. And we'll talk about that figure. I'm so glad I picked out that figure. And let's check this out. So this is either Jason Todd as Hush over here um, behind the mask, we have no idea. I love this figure. He's got his jacket. Don't know who it is. Now, again, Hush also wound up being, I believe it was Thomas Wayne who had that. And again, I might be wrong because I've not seen that. But now you can definitely see how these characters go really good together. And I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I have to. Uh, when I saw those, I said, I have to get them. So here we go. Here's a better picture of, uh, or better rendition of Jason Todd. Now, Jason Todd was a Robin. Um, he was one of uh, the Robins that Batman had. He kind of got a little bit messed up uh, when it came to being uh, dipped in the Lazarus pit, but that's a story for another time. But again, you, I can see some vibes going on here. We've got the red, we've got the black. They look really, really cool. And again, they're close to the scale. And as we go with uh, Robin or Jason Todd, uh, he also took on the mantle of the Red Hood. Apparently, red and black is a uh, really cool color for um, Evo guys. So here we go. Here's the Red Hood figure. And again, we, we almost have a motorcyclist um, kind of look with that. And then eventually, somewhere down the road, um, Jason Todd winds up becoming the Arkham Knight. Which they kept saying, oh, Arkham Knight's a brand new guy. Uh, we've never seen before. Some spoiler if you know anything or want to know anything about Batman. Definitely read the comic books because they are really awesome. And again, all these different versions of, uh, you know, Jason Todd. 
uh, when he battled Batman. Uh, and, you know, this different thing. Now, I think they made amends with each other. And uh, he eventually, uh, I can't remember which uh, outfit he wound up taking um, to help. I think it was the Red Hood. And here we go. So here we got uh, Jason Todd as the Red Hood. He's got the motorcycle jacket. Looks really, really cool. That was a little surprise for everyone. Who is Red Hood? Now, he, the Red Hood figure here only has articulation um, in the arms. And I believe it was a DVD... Um, exclusive so you had to get the dvd now he is smaller than the rest of the characters or you know but again it's still this is red hood and you kind of see where i was going with this vibe uh we've got the biker like you know jacket kind of biker jacket over here we've got the red mask or you know the uh the biker helmet kind of like a biker helmet over here and again may not be a biker helmet but again when i'm looking at it i'm thinking yeah maybe oh and we got a little spot for some type of weapon that would have gone in here, kind of like over here. I'm not saying that one was modeled after the other, but you can definitely see the similarities. And of course, the best thing to do is to put him with the rest of the Fresh Monkey Fiction figures and also a boss fight figure. Let's go a little bit closer and you can definitely see how well they scale all together. They look really awesome. Again, I'm so glad that it's part of my collection and really excited. Oh, really, really quick. So here are some of the characters that are in this wave. Sorry about that. General Brown. Uh, we've got Takedown, uh, Takedown Thunder Unit. Uh, Santini, uh, Ultima Thule. There he is. Zapper, uh, the Riot Stealth Pilot, which I'm yet to get. And uh, the Riot Commando, which I do have. We had that one um, showing up. And I also showed that from the uh, comic, Amazing Comics, um, that body. So that's where that body will be coming from. And when I get that figure, I will definitely be showing it. And that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed checking it out, watching the, um, you know, watching my collection grow here. And again, if you're like, hey, I wonder what these look like without the package. What do they look like next to all the other figures? Are they really, really worth it? Is it, you know, is it what, you know, is it what you really think it is? You know, do these figures look really cool together? In my humble opinion, collecting toys over the many years that I have, I think they look really, really cool. And again, We've got the ultimate bad guy with the ultimate good guy. We've got Captain Eagle. Uh, we've got the Ultima Thule together um, battling each other. It's Eagle Force versus Riot. Gotta love, uh, again, Fresh Monkey Fiction, what they've been doing with their figures. Waiting for the next ones to uh, release. I believe at the end of the month it's supposed to happen. When it happens and they come here, I will do a video on it. That is my promise to you. That's what I like doing, and I definitely enjoy it. That's it. That is the end of the video. Which figures are you collecting? Do you have any G.I. Joe figures in your collection? Um, if so, which kind do you have? And again, they scale, I, in my personal opinion, they definitely feel they, you know, they scale really, really well. Sorry about that. And there we go. So there's Ultima Thule over here. Uh, we've got uh, Captain Eagle again, you know, and we got the Phantom. Phantom is from Boss Fight, uh, Boss Fight Studios. But the rest of the characters over here um, from, uh, excuse me, sorry, uh, from Fresh Monkey Fiction or Zika Toys. So I think it looks really awesome. That's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. Thank you guys for following along, clicking and saying thank you very much um, that you're enjoying these videos. Always giving one of these. Totally appreciate it. Leaving comments definitely helps out as well. And again, we are growing our channel. We are climbing, climbing, climbing to 700 and we're going to make that happen and again we also have a giveaway going on too so if you are not part of the channel and you're like wait a minute giveaway did you say giveaway yes one lucky subscriber who leaves a comment on that video uh i will be drawing that uh after the 25th i'll be uh, locking up all the comments once i say no more comments that'll be it i will take the people who are on there and again we are trying to get to if we can that next tier of prizes, or the next tier, that higher prize, uh, the 50 to 99 comments, we still have like four days if you guys want to get into that. If we get to that, then again, the prize bumps up a little bit and is a lot sweeter, in my personal opinion. And uh, someone, one of my lucky subscribers here will get that prize, and they'll be going, yeah, this is awesome. I guess I'm too hyped today. That's it. That's the end of the video again for the umpteen time. My name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. To my Dark Cosmic family out there, that is my Cosmic Cosmic. That's my Cosmic Comrades, my Insane Toy Collectors, my Dark Cosmic Pokemon Collectors, 
what do I say? Say it loud and proud. Everyone together. Stay cosmically insane, my friends. Keep collecting those action figures, Pokemon cards, any type of collector cards that are out there. And come back for the next video here on the YouTubeosphere, better known as YouTube, where we will do another review. Let me know what's in your collection. Do you have any of these figures? What do you have? Leave it in the comments because I do comment you back. Even if it's previous comments, they pop up on my uh, YouTube um, my little thing that shows me all the different all the new comments that have popped up. Thank you guys and don't forget keep watching the videos. Check the videos. We have over 600 and like two videos or something like that, which is awesome. There's some shorts there for you to check out. There's videos for you to binge watch. You can see how our channel has grown and how I've become a little bit more open with my communication with you guys here. Thanks again. We'll see you soon here on the YouTubeosphere, better known as YouTube. See you soon. Keep collecting those figures. And uh, see you then.